God. Dang it. I've been tagged by Quartzy Blue 64. Damn! I'm kidding. Well, okay, I've been tagged. So, apparently, some of you want to know five facts about myself. Okay. I shall tell you after this pointless intro. Hello, and welcome to T4TV's 5 Facts About Myself. Yays! Alright, let's start. Number one. I have Asperger's Syndrome. What it is, is that, um... It's... A high functioning autism. That means I have higher intelligence than normal people, but a lack of social skills. But I am improving on that. And no, it it doesn't it's not pronounced Asperger's. No. It's not pronounced that, it's just Asperger's syndrome. I was diagnosed with that when I was a very little child and I had trouble in my life earlier. But Around elementary school, I grew smarter and smarter, which is a cool thing, and I think that's badass. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but to me, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's normal to have Asperger's Syndrome, and I just want to give my blessings to those who are diagnosed with that, along with early infantile autism, which means severe autism. So, my blessings to them. <coughs> Alright. Let's move along then. Alright, number two. I am a retro gamer. Even though I play some of the current games now, I mostly enjoy and I love to play retro games. It just brings back to childhood that I used to love. One of my favorite retro games, no, nothing else than Super Mario Brothers. That game is awesome. Especially with Super Mario Galaxy. That game is awesome as well. I haven't stopped playing ever since I got it. That game is awesome. I recommend it if you're a huge Mario fan or just a hardcore fan. Heck, any gamer should get this, so I command you to buy it. Do so now. Okay, you don't have to. But anyway, <clears throat> I love to play mostly 8 bit and 16 bit games. <coughs> Um, I just think that graphics are not that important. I just think that, uh, graphics is, not graphics, but the gameplay is mostly important. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta get it quick. In other words, I love retro games. I'm a retro gamer. I love to play old games. I'm not too big on the current generation because of all this graphics horror thing going on. But hey, I still like the video games, and I, I like the old and new, but I love the old more. So... Well, that's number two. Let's go on. Number three. You suck ass. <coughs> Shut up, squeakers. Anyways. Number three. I own all Kingdom Hearts manga so far. I have four, all four volumes of the original Kingdom Hearts. I got two complete volumes of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. And I got two Kingdom Hearts 2 mangas. Two volumes of Kingdom Hearts 2. So far, I'm trying to collect all the Kingdom Hearts mangas I can. I'm trying to collect them, but uh, right now they're uh, they're not released in now, so I have to wait some more. Whoever um, Shu Amano, he is the one that adapted the idea. So, sir, please. So, Shira, please make more and release it to the United States or North America, please. I love the manga, so bring it in, please. So yeah, I own all Kingdom Hearts manga so far. And if the rest of you have the same mangas as I do, like if you got that same collection as I do, then that's cool. Alright, let's move on. Number four. Well, the reason why I use so much songs in the intro is not because I just want to put in for the intro, but I like music. And I obviously sing. If you're curious, well... Try to check out the Alcon video, you'll see what I mean. I can pretty much sing, but whenever I listen to the audio, I don't sound pretty much good as I thought it would. But, um, if you really want to hear my voice, 
Well... Come on, show me what you're made of. I don't wanna. You chicken? Fine, I'll sing. Ugh, here it goes. It may not be good, so here it goes. How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good time that made us laugh away the bad. I thought we'd get to see forever But forever's gone away It's so hard to say goodbye To yesterday Wrong, squeakers. Shut up, just go on. All right, I'll tell you. Number five, I like the Apeski series. To me, it is awesome. It's one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. It's to me what I love about it is that. Come on, people! You can capture monkeys wearing helmets and causing destruction. How awesome and wacky can this be? Heck, they even got their own series, television series on right now. And they already had her series finale, which is sad, but hey, it had to come to an end. And it ended in a good way. And hopefully, well, I'd rather watch the Japanese version than just the English version, to be honest. But back to the games. I love the games. The first one I played was the first one, but I didn't get used to controls. But the second one... I loved it, and that really got me to the Ape Escape series. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> I'm a big fan of it. And hopefully YouTube will get off their lazy butts to say, Hey, let's just put up those shows up there. Probably not, because they're idiots. So YouTube, you are idiots for deleting those videos. <sighs> At least there's a link to find the episodes. Go to my subscriptions, go to Ape Escape 1. You'll find his um, video about it. Anyways, um, so yeah, number 5, I like the Ape Escape series. Alright. Apparently, you have known all 5 things about myself. 1. I have Asperger Syndrome. 2. I am a retro gamer. 3. I own all Kingdom Hearts manga volumes for now. I might get more in the future. Number four, I always always sing and like music. And number five, I like the Ape Escape series. One of my favorite franchises of all time. Alright. I am going to be tagging some <coughs> Alright, get ready. Number one, R Make 21. Number two, Mega Man 765. Number three, Jet Blue 2000. Number four, Kohan 3000. And Finally, Fred Fredberger. <laughs> Fred? Yep, I'm dead serious. Fred Fredberger will also have his own channel. Well, if he can. Plus, he's tagged. We'll see ya. Have a nice day. <laughs>